All right, good afternoon, everybody. Haven't made a video in a little while. I actually feel pretty decent today. And if anybody is going to get started in collecting vintage ammo, uh, just wanted to give you the heads up on some of my uh, 22 ammo I've been collecting through the years. This has been a kind of a long haul for me, and I've actually got quite a bit of. Uh, 22 ammo as you can see um, it's really hard to find the vintage ammo especially if it's in great condition uh, most of my 22 ammo is in excellent condition uh, depending on the years um, I mean I could go over most of this and tell you about roughly what year it was made and the condition of it but as you can see some of the ammo uh, the boxes are not that good uh, but most of mine, I would say a good 90% of it, is in either excellent or mid condition. Uh, very little flaws. And that's one thing about collecting vintage ammo. You don't want to sit there and collect a lot of old ammo that's uh, rusted out and uh, discolored or have a lot of like green, um, kind of like brass mold, I call it, on top of your uh, casings and stuff like that. So, <clears throat> so here's here we go. A lot of this is the 30s and 40s. Some of it's the 20s. I do have in here mostly 30, 40s. This is like the 80s, 70s. Uh, you got the 70s here. Um, 80s. I remember the uh, Thunderbolts. They were really cool when they came out. Um, so let's let's go down the line here. This is like the 40s, 50s. This might be the 40s. Now this is not saran wrapped. Uh, as you can see, it's not 100% mint condition, this box. But I call it maybe 80%. But the ammo, all the ammo in here, every every box that you see is 95, 98% mint condition as far as ammunition goes. Uh, there are some boxes, like this one here. This one's a rare one. This is a dog bone. And you can see it's a uh, 22 Remington Special Winchester Rimfire, so it's like a it's a Magnum, and uh, this one's a rare one to find, especially in this condition. But the ammo in here is just a little discolored. It's not 100% mint, but I would say close to 80, 90% mint. And it's a full box. Um, these are all 22 shorts right here. Uh, here's a really cool one here that's kind of rare. It's a dog bone, 22 short. Now it is saran wrapped. And uh, these are, again, anyone, most of these that are saran wrapped, I would say almost 100%, they, the ammunition looks brand new. So if you unwrap this, uh, all this pretty much would be brand new looking, just like you bought it today. So this one too, here's, here's a neat one, the super match. Uh, I don't know how you pronounce that, but that's pretty cool. 22 short. There's another one, Remington clean bore. One thing about this one is it's got a cool rifle. See the rifle on the side here? That's really cool. That's kind of a collector. <clears throat> These are not in mint condition. These are probably early 80s, maybe late 70s. Uh, they sold these. But the ammo is in mint condition, but not the box. Especially like all these right here. There's some discoloration here. <coughs> Excuse me. This one here, as you can see, that's an oldie, but a full box. But, but the box is in disarray. So here's a, here's a old, I think 30s or 40s blanks, extra loud 22 caliber blanks. I have some of these in uh, CB caps. And I just wanted to throw this in. This is pretty cool. This is a 1920s box of 12 gauge shells. These are in mint condition. So if you open up the saran wrap, it's just like you bought them in a store today. This is really cool to collect. I have um, 
I didn't get them out, but I have maybe eight to ten boxes of collectible 12 gauge from the 30s and 40s. Uh, this, of course, is a cheap Aquila, Aquila, or whatever you call it, Aquila, Aquila 22. Um, there's a few rounds I found 38 WC, what is it, WC F, is it? Can't read it. Yeah, WCF. That's an oldie right there. Here's an old Spencer round. That's cool. The old Spencer rifles, you know. Here's a 4560. That's an oldie 4560. So just a few that I found when I was rooting through my 22s. Uh, what else? All these are pretty much in mint. They're saran wrapped, as you can see. Boxes are like almost 100% mint. Ammunition, again, inside is mint. There's a nice Peters. That's cool. You know, sorry about the camera here. Here's, here's some couple cool ones here, some old ones. The leader stainless Winchester. Here's the Super Speed. Super Speed's always cool. They're kind of collectors. So, I don't know why this camera keeps going in and out. Another, uh, this is smokeless. Right here, easy access. Again, 30s, 40s. Is another leader stainless. These are neat looking, you know. And you collect something like this. But again, I mean, you could collect the old ones that are not in mint condition. It's always fun to collect ammo. Here's some Federal High Power. Power. 70s probably I would think on this maybe 60s can't remember remember the old wildcat there's some old wildcat ones they were neat and then you got the mohawks I think these are 40s this is not 100% mint but and then the bullseyes the western bullseyes they were neat So, all right, and then remember, remember these back in the 80s? Little Winchester Super X's. Yeah, again, Federal High Peril Power. Here's, here's, here's a cool one. 50s, maybe 40s. This is in mint condition. Um, and uh, that's a nice one, the 22 short. I don't know if I did that one or not. That's cool. So, there's some neat ones I just wanted to show you. I mean, people still collect them. You can shoot all these. There's no problem shooting these, I would think. Because, like I said, they're pretty much in mint condition. Especially the ammo. Uh, some of the boxes, like this one here. As you can see, the super speed on this one. This one not as not as good as the other one I have. You can see the other one right there. So I just put it in the baggie. You know, it looks like there's a couple that are not. Well, maybe they are. I don't know. Maybe they're just discolored. But this one, you can still shoot. I just put it in the baggie so I don't lose it. I don't want to. You know, I wanted to keep it with it so. All right, so there you go. This is my oldest one here, probably. And these are, I don't know if I'd shoot these. These might be the 20s. Maybe even earlier than that. Maybe early 1900s or something. I don't know. As you can see, they're discolored. So, that's the two-piece box. So there you go. All right, so if you want to get in collecting ammo, it's kind of fun. Like, but it's getting harder to find. And they're getting pretty expensive now. Like these you used to be able to pick up, I don't know, anywhere from 3 to $10 a box, believe it or not. Now they're anywhere from 20 to all the way up to 60 80 100 bucks a box, depending on how collectible they are. 
they're usually anywhere from $25 to $35 a box average if you find them in decent condition these might be a little more in mint condition so you know anybody that collects them out there might be able to pay a little more for these because they're hard to find in this kind of condition so all right well have a good day wanted to kind of show you and if anybody wants to get into collecting ammo it's kind of fun but it's getting harder less and less are out there and people don't store them properly so they get all you know wet and damp and moldy and they just kind of throw them in their drawers and they get all beat up so as the years go by you see more and more of that because the old generations used to collect them and keep them in their closets and younger generations don't, don't even know what to do with them they just don't even want to have anything to do with them so okay take care thank you for looking